Uh, I want to loop back for a second to the mm -hmm. MCAT because we're seeing that a lot of students are uh, very concerned uh, about the weighting of the different sections in the MCAT, specifically the chem phys section. I know, I know firsthand that many students struggle with, uh, with the physics concepts and applying them because it's not the biology that they're necessarily used That's to. Right. Mm -hmm. So could you speak a little bit about how, uh, how the different sections are viewed? Well, you know, Owen, we're still getting used to it ourselves, uh -huh. you know, so, um, you know, take this with the understanding that this is only the third year that we will have used the new MCAT going into the new cycle, um, we expect there to be some balance in all of your, your scores. Um, and that includes the chem, physical, the biological foundations, the CAR score, and the uh, psychology and social sciences sections. But um, that's when, you know, if someone hasn't done well in the chemical science uh, portion of the, uh, the new MCAT, then they may want to consider retaking it mm -hmm. um, because maybe the, they didn't have the requisite knowledge um, for it, and now they know what to expect. Now, when you say if someone doesn't do well, I don't get into numbers. Okay. I don't get into numbers. I don't get into numbers because not everyone's applying to Johns Hopkins. Certainly. Or schools like Johns Hopkins. Mm -hmm. That's fair. That's mm -hmm. absolutely fair. And I know that the Johns Hopkins uh, applicant pool certainly tends to boast larger numbers, higher numbers. That's than right. Than they do. They do. The rest of the country. Those That's the right. And yet we have no cutoffs. Certainly. Uh, either. MCAT or GPA cutoffs, there are none. Otherwise, they, we would be um, you know, dropping the ball in terms of what we say as to a holistic re evaluation of their application. Mm -hmm.